Now this is a 38-yard field goal. His last one was blocked for Raber. Heading towards the uprights, and that one is good. And McNeese has the lead, 34-31. Nice job there by Rayborn, his second field goal tonight. Well, they get a lead here shortly, and Northwestern State now have a chance to go on offense at the 25-yard line of their own right. We'll see what happens here with the Demons and Brad Laird's team. Now, it's been a long time since Northwestern State has defeated the McNeese Cowboys. For Brad Laird to win, kind of get that get that turned around. Previous 14 times this team has played, McNeese has won those games. Seven times here at Turpin Stadium, they've defeated Northwestern State. It's been a long time for these Demons to defeat this the Cowboys. A touchdown wins it here for the Demons. Epler. Over the middle, Ferguson down to the six. I would keep feeding that guy right there. <laughs> Big, strong, heavy slant right into his hands. You've seen it all the way, and there's his power right into the free safety, and he's taking that other defender for a ride with him. So first and goal now at the six-yard line for the Demons. I think you go back to the fade in Ferguson. Darian Dunn is right on top of him. They're looking in that direction. Touchdown. Touchdown! Touchdown! Demons win! Demons win! What an unbelievable game here at Turpin Stadium. Well, we've seen heart from Northwestern State. They've displayed that in coming back in a couple of ball games recently. And last week they came back immensely. And Abilene didn't quite get it done. Lost a tough one, 49 to 47 or 47 to 45, whatever it was. But this time they came back again against McNeese. In a very highly hotly contested ball game, tied it up and in second double overtime. Jazz Ferguson comes up huge with Shell Neffler. Breaks the streak of McNeese. Complete dominance over Northwestern State. Brad Laird. Huge win here for Northwestern in Natchitoches. This is a tremendous rivalry. It's been over the years and I think it's just now getting heated up again. What a night for that young man. Heartbreaking loss for McNeese. Taylor Verico has a special guest. Taylor. Yeah, guys, I'm down here with Sheldon Epler. Big game for you guys tonight. You snapped a 13-game losing streak. How you feeling? Uh, I thought it was a great, great outing by us. Uh, Got a little photo bomb of Fletcher quarterback, but uh, I thought it was great. Our defense came out and stopped them, put it to them. They're a great football team, and then I'm just glad we were able to come back and put one together. How big is this win for your program? Uh, it's very huge. Uh, going into this next week, we have SFA. They're a great ball ball club, and uh, just knowing that if we if we just finish ball games like this every, all all throughout the season, then it's a whole different story. So it's a bright bright future for this for this team, and I'm so excited for it. Now, coach told me earlier this week. He really was concerned about your consistency in the ball game, and so how do you feel consistent-wise you were Go tonight? Baby. Uh, I feel like the team came together awesome, and uh, I know they have my back 100%. They're just coming up to me saying, trust trust what I see, and uh, just go from there. And also, when I got dudes like this, when I got dudes like this, so it helps out. All right, guys, congratulations. Appreciate it. Thank you. Jeff. Thanks a lot, Taylor. And what a night for Shelton Epler. After a sluggish first half, he got the offense cranking, ends up with 292 yards passing, four touchdowns on tonight. He now has 24 touchdown passes, and that's the